Good evening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And welcome back to Ilad Live. I'd like to thank you, the viewer, for staying with us. And my colleague, Lukman Shadrach, for taking you through that first one hour. This is the first Monday of spring 2023. And of course, the first Monday of September. Now, President Sol Ramaphosa said there is no truth to the damaging allegations that South Africa illegally exported arms to Russia when the vessel Lady R docked in Simonstown. Now, in May, United States Ambassador to South Africa, Ruben Brigadier, claimed that weapons and ammunition were loaded onto a Russian cargo ship that docked near a naval base in Cape Town in December last year. This triggered a diplomatic row. Joining us now is the Democratic Alliance's Shadow Minister of Defense, Kwabas Murray. Mr. Murray, good evening, and thank you so much for joining us on Hila Live. Good evening, and uh, uh, it is a pleasure and an honor to be with you and your viewers. No, the pleasure is ours, and thank you for joining us. Mr. Murray, uh, is the case closed? Is it as simple as that? No, it is not, certainly not closed, and it is not as simple as it seems, uh, because that would have, uh, you know, equates to a, uh, you know, sweeping under the carpet. Uh, most certainly not. Uh, we, in, we in ourselves and myself are very disappointed uh, in the report, at least what we have seen and heard so far, um, because clearly it seems like the uh, scope and the terms of reference of the, com of the panel was very, very narrow and very, very closed um, in terms of what they should be uh, investigated and what they were in allowed to investigate. Um, because, I mean, what the, what the president has alluded to um, is, is, is not e even scratching the surface. Uh, and what even just in terms of what he has said, there are so many, uh, you know, controversial things that has happened and the, and the reality seems to be totally different from what he has claimed, even as small things as, uh, you know, just the authority to dock in Simonstown and whether it was equipment or ammunition that was offloaded, whether it was 2018 or 2019 and 2020. Um, so there are small things that is, uh, seems to be um, not um, in, in cohesion with each other. Uh, so, yes, uh, we are very concerned and we are very concerned that the, um, remember, the president has, even when he appointed the panel, he has already said at that stage that he would not make available uh, the report, uh, which sounded like, and we were very cautious that, uh, you know, there might have been a predetermined outcome and he was just looking for some panel's justification uh, you know, for that predetermined outcome. And now it seems like we have got the predetermined outcome, although, you know, his arguments for not making the, the report uh, available and public uh, doesn't seem to, to add more much value, and it doesn't seem to, to justify that as well. Mr. Murray, listening to his speech yesterday, they just felt a sense of it was very lukewarm. There wasn't much information that was given. Uh, I, I don't know whether that's the take of the DA also, that maybe there were certain parts that were missing within what he was meant to speak of regarding this report. Well, most certainly, because remember, although he has initially said that he will not reveal the, the, the report, uh, as uh, information emerged um, since then, that says he might reveal certain parts of the report. Now, then one asked the question, so which parts and what is the qualifications? and the criteria for making available certain parts. I can just say the one thing that he has mentioned, that the so-called equipment that was ordered in 2018, uh, and that is of a class classified nature, uh, and therefore he cannot reveal that, uh, that's, that's not acceptable because remember my information, and I'm a member of the Joint Standing Committee on Defense, and we get quarterly reports and annual reports from the NCACC on all permits being issued, whether it's for import, export, marketing, conveyance, whatever the purpose might be. Um, and I have gone back to 2017, uh, and there was never any um, permit being granted for equipment per se, because, you know, that report classify uh, and categorize products, and then it gives descriptions and then it says from where it is imported, the country, or where to it's being exported. 
the quantity and the value uh, and all that uh, that was um, available from the report. And I must say that's a public document. So it was it was submitted in an open open meeting was not disclo was not closed and it was not classified at that stage. So the only information that I could gather from those reports was in 2019 and 2020, there were import permits granted for the importation of, of ammunition, and it has been classified or categorized as um, rounds and shells uh, that was imported from, um, from Russia. Uh, and that correlates 100% with what was already known that the uh, special forces, especially five special forces regiment in Palaborva, uh, they often prefer to use East Bloc ammunition and specifically AK-47s for their work in Africa. And they obviously, um, they, they also train with that. So, so the fact that there was um, AK-47 bullets being ordered, um, that's no strange phenomenon. So um, if, if that was the so-called classified um, um, uh, equipment that he was referring to, um, then I've got bad news for him. It's already since uh, since the annual reports and the quarterly reports were submitted, it is in it's in the public domain and it has never been classified as a, as confidential or as a, as as restricted uh, in that nature. So so that in itself is a very big concern. So it seems like he was either not being fed the correct information or the um, or, or the panel uh, just misunderstood the whole matter quite clearly. The other concern that we've had is obviously that all imports and exports of ammunition, weapons, armament, uh, any military equipment, any military, um, uh, you know, um, spare parts, etc., uh, are normally and always shipped via the official port net port, customs ports of entry and exit, never ever via Simon Star. Now, he has not um, made any reference to the fact that that is very, very irregular and very unusual. So why did the LADR, um, you know, bypass the official government agencies, the official customs ports of entry? He, he did not give an, uh, an explanation for that. And we know that the Lady R was escorted into False Bay and Simonstown whilst her AIS was switched off by two Navy vessels. Uh, and that authorization and instruction could have only come from a very, very high political level uh, because that in itself is, is incredibly unusual and it's probably the only time in my lifetime that I know of that, or at least in my, in my um, uh, time in parliament. So, so that is incredibly unusual uh, and he has not, he's not even spoken a word about that. The fact that, that the um, security uh, guards of the SA Navy was instructed not to to report for work in that those evenings, uh, and that uh, you know some other agency, seemingly the uh, Special Forces Regiment, has handled the uh, the the in and out of of the naval precinct. Um, he hasn't even spoken about that. He has not even mentioned that, uh, and that is all to do with the docking of the vessel irrespective of what was loaded or, or, or offloaded or, or loaded onto the vessel. The other matter that I just wanted to mention is that the, 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 the ammunition that was offloaded was about the equivalent of seven containers. And that, uh, that correlates 100% with the two permits that was issued. Now, whether those permits were still valid uh, or not is, is an open question, and we need to get confirmation on that because it, the, the normal... Uh, validity dates has have expired, um, and uh, we have got no information whether there's been a reapplication of those permits because it has not been reported to the Joint Standing Committee on Defence as per the the Act. Um, so, so, so you know, um, so you know, there, there there seems to be a lot of controversial things, uh, conflicting things. Uh, to which the president and seemingly the report has not spoken to. So, uh, so yeah, um, uh, I, know, Ray, I, I know have to, for a fact. Mr. Ray, I have to just maybe stop you there because I just want to get one question in. You, had, you did yes. answer a, a, a question that I was about to ask, so thank you for that. Uh, Mr. Murray, you, you obviously said you're part of the Joint Standing Committee. Uh, you are a member of parliament, so I'm assuming that uh, 
you know, come the next National uh, Assembly sitting, uh, the Democratic Alliance is one of those parties are probably going to demand for that report to be given to the public in order to see what happens. Well, yes, we would like to see the report, not that we expect at this stage that it might be valuable. Um, because remember, if the, if, the, if the instructions and the, and the scope uh, given to the, to the panel was very limited, um, then you can't blame the panel and the judge for, for providing a very narrowly defined uh, outcome and a report. So, um, yes, we, we obviously would like to see the report um, if, if they will share it with us. Whether one must go to court to get the, uh, the, the, the um, report is another question um, because it, it seems like, you know, m most if not all of the very important matters seems to be have not been considered. Um, so, so, yes, and I must just say lastly that on that Friday morning before the vessel left Simonstown, three o'clock that, that, that night, uh, and that was after the seven containers has left Simonstown for Mokhopong. Um, there were still uh, 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 activities going on under spotlights of stuff being loaded onto the vessel. Now, seemingly that was nothing, apparently, um, according to the president. So we say, yes, it was not weapons because we have never claimed it was weapons, but it was something and it was not apples and pears. Kovas Murray, DA Shadow Minister of Defence, we'd like to thank you so much for joining us on Hilal Live. My absolute pleasure and best wishes to your, uh, to your viewers. Thank you so much for that, uh, Kovas Murray, DA Shadow Minister of Defence. Well, we wait to see what happens with regards to this lady uh, report, but President Ramaphosa has insisted no weapons were loaded. And of course, we will have more for that on our news bulletin. After the break, uh, the agricultural sector, they've been given a major boost by the Agro uh, Energy Fund for farmers to uh, grant us South Africans food security. I'll speak to Agri SACO Crystal Funder Rioda to just to get their view on it. Do stay tuned. <laughs>